Yo, what's up guys? Today, I will show you the biggest hack for learning programming and for getting that first developer job. So, if you are a complete beginner or if you are fairly intermediate and whatnot, and you are looking for a real or a realistic shortcut that will accelerate your growth and your learning potential and your earning potential, then this video is gonna massively help you. What is the biggest hack? I was in the gym, I'm going to the gym often, and you know, you see these big dudes, right? I don't wanna sound, you know, like, I like dudes, but you see these big, big dudes, you know, they have like muscles and whatnot, they look like they know what they're doing. And there are two ways that you can take to become one of those guys. If your goal is to be jacked and to be massive, you know, to be like a, like a bull, you know, like an animal, then you have two options, right? The first one is to watch YouTube, okay? And definitely YouTube is sometimes good for education, but the second best way, I think that's not the best way, the first one that I mentioned, that is one of the ways, but the best way is to make friends with one of those jacked dudes and that jacked dude is gonna help you to become like him because he knows what he has to do. Probably he started from the same uh, point as you or me, whatever. And he did a few things, right? He messed up a few things here and there. He learned a bunch of things. He wasted a lot of time by watching YouTube. And then he got to where he is right now. And then what you can do is you can ask him, hey, what should I do in my situation? So basically, today I'm gonna show you how to find a mentor and I'm not gonna promote myself un until the very end, like I usually do. What? But I'm gonna give you like a realistic way that you can take today to find a mentor, someone that can help you learn programming. Because in my opinion, learning by yourself programming and any skill is extremely stupid, okay? It's extremely stupid and I'm not saying this because I have something to sell, but I'm saying this because I have been in your shoes and I have tried to learn programming my, by myself and I have benefited from having a mentor. I have benefited from having a mentor in my day job as well. That's the moment when I've learned the most. If you ask anyone on Twitter or on LinkedIn, you'll say that they have learned the best from a mentor. And I'm gonna show you today how to find a mentor using a social media platform, okay? You need to understand that these people are everywhere, right? If you wanna become a software developer, these people have social media accounts. And you can connect with them no matter where you are in the world, okay? In my opinion, there are two social media platforms that you can use to find a mentor. Twitter and LinkedIn. There are other platforms like Instagram and TikTok and whatnot, but in my opinion, those platforms are for likes and views, right? Where some chick is showing her, you know, assets and whatnot to get likes and whatever. Then you have this random dude that's showing his latest tech where he's flexing on you and whatnot. Those platforms are not really for learning, those are for flexing. But Twitter and LinkedIn, there are places where even though they are trash in my opinion, because social media is trash at the end of the day, they are just platforms that are using to squeezing your attention. Those are way better because it's like you are interacting with real people over there, okay? So, Twitter and LinkedIn. Now, how do you approach these people? Before you even think about approaching them, you need to fix your social media. So if you are on Twitter or on LinkedIn, you'll have some sort of headshot, you know, like some sort of profile picture. Make sure you have a decent looking photo. You can invest into a photographer that can take a picture of you or if, a, if you have a friend, I hope you have a friend with a good phone, they can take a picture of you where you look relaxed, you don't look whack. If you have an anime profile picture, remove it. If you are really cool and if you have a profile picture like some guy called Luke Belmar, then that's fine. But if you are a nobody and if you have an anime profile picture, people will think you are a troll or a bot and they won't take you seriously, okay? Get a proper photo where you smile or you look relaxed, don't look like this. Otherwise, people will think you are creepy and a weirdo, okay? That's the first thing. Um, a lot of people do not understand how other people perceive them, okay? So you need to have some sort of self-awareness and look at your profile picture and say, do I look creepy? Do I look like a weirdo? Okay, if you don't know about it, you can take your photo and submit it on a website called photofiller.com. I think that's how it's called. 
and then you send, you upload your picture there and people will rate it, okay? If you, are, if you get bad ratings, then you need to get a better picture, okay? First impressions matter a lot. Now, how do you actually talk to these people? Because I get a lot of messages, you know, like people know I'm mentoring, that's, that's my thing, you know? I mentor people, I help people learn programming to get high paying dev jobs and people message me every time. And there are a few things that I need to tell you that you need to be aware of if you want to have a proper conversation with another person. First of all, you need to understand that these people are not there to help you. They are there to shoot the shit, okay? They are there to have fun, to uh, stop being bored. So then if you come along and you are like, I'm gonna read you a message. I'm gonna read you a message to see what kind of messages I'm actually getting from people and what you shouldn't be doing. This is the type of message I got like two weeks ago. Hello, I'm student of Bachelor of Computer Science, but I really want to improve myself at web development like the videos you talked about and I wanna make 80K salary per year, remotely. And do not forget I'm a bookworm guy and I have 96% marks at university. I guarantee whatever you teach me, I will learn without any mistake. But the problem is I'm from Afghanistan, blah, blah, blah. What's wrong with this message? If you listen to this stuff that I just read, and if you think, hey, nothing is wrong with that, then you'll fail miserably at finding a mentor, at finding someone that can help you. What's wrong with this message? First of all, he's a leech. He doesn't even care how I feel. He didn't even say, hey man, I really like your content. This video here that you talked about, this was amazing and it changed my life. I don't wanna say like I'm blowing my own horn, but don't, the thing is, I don't care about you and you don't care about me. But if you want something from me, you need to uh, boost my ego somehow, right? And it's not like you are dick riding or something, but you need to boost my ego somehow. So what does that mean for you if you talk to someone that, let's say, the guy works at Microsoft? You're not gonna say, bro, I, uh, I really want to work at Microsoft like you because I wanna make more money and I wanna work remotely. I always wanted to work for Microsoft. It doesn't make any sense. Why would I listen to you? I'm working at Microsoft. I'm making a bunch of money. I don't have time to help any nobody with this. That's what people are thinking, but people are not telling you this, okay? You need to wake up. So what you have to do is you have to give value, right? You can say something like, guy from Microsoft, Michael, sounds like the typical Microsoft worker. Let's say, Michael, I went through your past experiences I, and I wanna say I'm impressed, especially with the fact that you've been at Microsoft for the past two years. I would really love to know more about how you've been able to stay there for two years, or I would love to know like what kind of projects have you been uh, working on on Microsoft? Because I'm also interested in getting to work at Microsoft or something like that. It doesn't have to be like crazy or something like that, but you have to like relate. You need to boost the other person's ego because otherwise that person won't have any kind of need towards helping you. Like I, I don't see how some people cannot understand this. Like imagine yourself in five years You'll be making a lot of money as a developer. You'll be having all the free time in the world. You'll be having friends and whatnot. You wanna uh, waste your time on social media and some dude is messaging you, bro, please help me to become a web developer because I always wanted a, I don't care. And that's what people think about you as well. So comment on their achievements, comment on something they've been doing, boost their ego. Always think about this. How can I boost someone's ego? How can I make some other person feel better today because they saw my message. That's what you need to think about. For example, I have a guy that I work with. He's a phenomenal guy, super smart, super attend to details, like very, very smart. And he's in my mentorship program. And he basically said, I'm gonna edit shorts for you. So all the shorts that you are seeing on YouTube are made by him, okay? Why? Because he has some value that he can give me. like. A specific service maybe the other mentor that you are gonna reach out to is not gonna be an influencer like me but he's giving me some sort of value and I give him value back and you need to figure out okay what skills do you have if you have any that you can give to someone 
This is very important because mentorship is not a one-way street. It has to be a two-way street, okay? Because if just that person is gonna give you something, okay? That person won't want to do it for too long because they have a life. And then if you get this information or this help for free, then you won't value it. You will not value it and you won't take action on this type of advice that you'll be getting from Michael that works on Microsoft. So do not beg. And what if you don't have any skills? Like Rafal, the guy that's helping me with my YouTube shorts, what do you do? Well, you need to pay. You need to pay with money, of course, or with gold or with Bitcoin or with Ethereum. Why do you need to pay? Because you have to pay someone for their time, okay? That's, that's one thing. You need to reward the other person for giving their time, which is an extremely valuable resource. If you do not value your time, I'm not gonna say anything, but if you do not value your time, that's your problem. But you need to respect the other person's time. You're gonna pay them money and whatnot, and then you're gonna get advice. Now, the other person will actually want to help you more because they'll receive something from it, okay? They'll receive something from this relationship that you guys have, okay? And then, because you are paying, you'll also, you know, pay attention to what Michael is saying. Because if you do not pay, you do not pay attention. If you are getting something for free, you do not care. I've said like last week or two weeks ago, I've told you what to do to become an HTML and CSS wizard. I can guarantee you, you didn't do about it because it was a free YouTube. But if you'd have paid thousands of dollars to hear that information, I can guarantee you, you'd be taking note of everything I said and then you would have went ahead and do it, right? That's why my students, they heard exactly the same information as you did. They actually applied it, they've learned and now they are better than you for example, because they are taking the information that they have to pay for, you know? So this video was a bit everywhere, but this is how you actually get a mentor and this is how you actually learn quickly, okay? Without wasting your years on YouTube, okay? That's how you do it. Plus, I don't wanna say like, if you have a mentor, it's not like you're gonna learn like you are learning right now. You will have a targeted approach towards every single thing. The mentor can see exactly what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and it's gonna guide you. Like your entire life is gonna be completely different if you have a mentor, okay? So anyway, this is the video for today. If you want me to mentor you without wasting any more of your time, apply for a free consultation called the link is in the description. Uh, I'm taking less and less people every month because I'm running almost at full capacity right now and uh, it is why it is. So make sure that when you fill in the questionnaire, you actually put a lot of attention into every single um, answer, I guess, to all my questions, because I'm reading those, and based on that, I'm gonna make sure that you are the right fit to actually speak with me or with one of my uh, advisors, okay? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.